What it is, guys, it is your old boy Pilk, and I have been trying to get this video out all bloody day. So this is incredibly late, um, but I hope this still comes to you guys in time to do what I'm going to tell you to do. Um, if you guys were running the tournament and you managed to get Mighty Mask, or you guys are uh, were lucky enough from the DB ticket summons, if you, those of you that ran the tournament, to pull this man right here, the new Int Jackie Chun. Um, these guys have a farmable super. A stupid, easy farmable super. All right? Let's talk about this real fast. It won't take very long at all. Um, and you can farm this up real, real quickly. Now, they do farm up. I'll start with uh, Jackie Chun here. Uh, what you do is you're going to go down uh, to Event. Go to Story. And you're going to go down to the uh, Super Strike Events. Now, these, both of these require today's, Tuesday's Super Strike Events. So if you miss it today, you're going to have to wait a week. But... Click on it, go to level 1, and Z-Hard. The 7 Stam run. 7 Stam is nothing, guys. Stupid easy. Alright. You're going to go in here. Uh, honestly, it doesn't matter what team you run. This is such a weak event. You could run a hot garbage team and kick the crap out of it. Alright. Like, I just grabbed Frieza for a hero team. Uh, and actually, Frieza's up. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to show you how weak it is. I'm going to hit it with that Frieza. And I'm not even going to give him full key. I'm just going to see if we can hit him with a weak AF hit. Uh, uh, take damage. I'm not even worried about that. And if we can still clobber him. All right. There's Jackie Chun. And Freezy Pop. There we are. Boom, boom. He's got some key. Um, I'm going to hit him with that. Now, just in case, this will definitely kill him. And Frieza does have the type advantage, so he'll hit a little harder. Oh, yeah, though, he's dead either way. But Yeah, look at look at that that weak-ass hit, and Jackie Chun's almost dead. So, yeah. You got nothing to worry about on this event. This, this event is stupid weak. He has, what, 200k health? It's dumb. It's, it's really, really dumb. All right. Now, the one thing I do want to tie there, you go, there you go, battle card. It's pretty much a guaranteed battle card drop. Sometimes it'll drop too, but that's pretty rare. Either way, you know, easy to run, easy to farm. Uh, really, really stupid symbol to farm. Here's the catch, guys. You can feed that SR in. I wouldn't necessarily recommend it. Um, the SR is a 5% chance of the super attack. Now, I've run a couple of them today, and I've gotten one successful run out of 5%. Um, I prefer to, to give him the Awakening Medals. Alright, I'm going to just go ahead and... Boop. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, feed him up to SSR. That makes him a 50% chance, alright? Boom, boom. Alright, and we'll go to Awakening. Snag him again. Uh, ooh, I do not have enough to awaken him. All right, so that's a problem. Um, but you know what? I'll give it a shot. I'll give it a shot of 5%. What the hell? Um, now, because it is a 50% chance at SSR, you are going to want to farm up 20 of these guys. Now, it could take more. It could take less. Um, that's just a good roundabout number. But that'll get, well, okay. Not 20. Um, 19, 18. But still, basically 20. 20 is a good round number. It'll give you what you need. Let's go ahead and just feed in the uh, feed in the SRC. He's five percent. Probably not going to be successful, but what the hell? For the purposes of the video, why not? And he was not successful. All right, doesn't matter. So what I would recommend doing is farm up a bunch of them. Farm up fifteen or so. Uh, now you will want to run the metal events, and you will want to farm each of one, each one of them up to SSR. Now, I wouldn't go any further than that. There's no point in Dokkan awakening him. If you have the old one, now he will Dokkan, uh, or I'm sorry, Dokkan awaken. He will accept the Dokkan awaken version for 100%. You'll see mine down here. Mine's locked up. Um, I don't really want to do that. Well, he's SA10. The only reason that you would want to, you know what? Screw it. For the purposes of the video, 
Nah, I'll take one for the team. He's easy to farm. He's easy enough to farm. Uh, nah, nah, nah. I just, I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart. I don't have the heart. Anyway. Uh, because I want to do a damage test between them. So he's SA 10. I'll need to farm up to SA 15. The other one, I'll just farm him up to SA 10. Get them going. We'll do a damage test with them. But, um, really the big thing is they're both sealers. Uh, the end one is just going to have a few more uses and he's going to hit a little harder. But, pretty much that's it. Alright. Farm up to SSR. Feed him at the 50%. Cross your fingers and hope you get lucky. Now, Mighty Mask is exactly the same way. Let's go to event. Go back to story. Whenever it decides. There we go. And the mysterious Mighty Mask. Okay, click on that. Run the seven stam. Exactly the same thing. It'll drop a Mighty Mask unit. You're just going to feed that in. So on and so forth. Okay. And uh, now, obviously, we haven't gotten our tournament rewards yet. They should be dropping in the next 24 or 48 hours. But you should have a good idea of where you're at and how many you will need to farm up your unit. Um, hopefully you got at least one. If not, you know, f I'm hoping for five, but I'm not sure I got quite that lucky. Either way, guys, pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, the only one, the only reason I don't like this one. Look at that. It makes you get into a f an unnecessary fight. I don't like that. I mean, it's not really a detriment, so to speak. Oh, look at this. Look at this. But I'm about to embarrass him. There you go. Boom. Boom. And boom. Yeah. Oh, my phone's running so slow all of a sudden. Come on, phone. But anyway, you get the you get the basic concept. Both these guys you can farm them up. I wish I had had been able to make this video uh, earlier in the day. I did a couple attempts. Um, and it just didn't work out. I've had contractors at the house all day long, and then no more than left. Uh, and it's been storming like mad, and I've been losing power like crazy. So, uh, that's why the stream is late, guys. But I want to get this out to you. I want to get this information in your hands. Uh, if you can't farm them up this week, definitely consider farming them up next week. Uh, it's super simple. Do not feed this guy Elder Kai's. There's absolutely no reason to feed either one of them Elder Kai's. This just really is not. It is such a phenomenal waste. And honestly, if it takes you several weeks to get them up to Super Attack 10, what difference does it make? How are you going to run them? These are not going to be units that are going to be on your everyday teams, okay? Unless you're brand new at the game. So, that's pretty much my point, guys. Play the game wisely. Play it smart. Don't... Don't just don't be messing up and, and doing that mess, cause that's that's all kinds of not good. Phone. I finally get to play. Finally get to get down here and do this stuff, and my phone's like, so hear me out. Lag. Anyway, there we are. Battle card. Like I said, he'll be five percent. I'll farm him up to SSR. Feed him in, and then we'll do an SA ten damage test with the farmed up unit. As soon as they drop so that's gonna be a thing guys that's going to be a thing all right neither here nor there guys get to farming i will start my stream here in just a few minutes after this video drops um if you have any questions come join us on the stream i'll be sure to answer them right then and there otherwise you can comment in the comment section down below and i will respond when i'm able to get back to the video other than that guys follow my birdman hit me up on booker both of my social medias which are in the description down below and I will lay your ass out next time.